Thorn sound signaling the end of the break in the rec room. The prisoner is returning to their cells, leaving the very injured Crimson Sunflower for the prison guards to find later helpless. Chris Rawlings is the police sergeant. Mike Weather as Ed Guido. Chris Rawlings is the mayor. Mike Weather as the judge's daughter. Meanwhile, Chris Rawlings as Judge McCallier. Mike Weather as the first bartender. Chris Rawlings as the second bartender. Mike Weather as Gecko. And Chris Rawlings as Gecko's doom. All, All crowd extras by Chris Rawlings and Mike Weber. This is flight 57. Preparing for delivery of the Zeon Colony. Ready for blast off. Epilogue. Judge, how is she? From the planet Zeon's prison colony, Gecko, the alien lizard, speaks. You must respect Academe's authority. I'm hungry. What are the monthly supplies getting here? Wait, what do we do? I belong to your mother, you. I I belong to your mother. Don't worry, they'll be here soon. We're taking over. Here. All right, this way. Well, what do we do? Hey, you know perfectly well what you've done. Thanks to you, this needs helpless citizen is in coma. Yes. This device is used, he used to distract the prisoner's helmet, sir. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Thanks to you, Crimson Sunflower will be in quite a disrepairable state. What do we have? Yes. I'm afraid you've become too much of a nuisance. Thanks to you and your Kadeems, this man here will need serious reconstructive surgery. Crimson's the sunflower, the martyr injured in Kamala is waiting for recovery. Meanwhile, the star cops take the prisoner Rex out. Hey, guard escorts them. Well, 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 what do we have here? It's an experimental art chemicals lab. Sergeant General, looks like we should so, use it to surgery or warfare, depending on the medical outcome of studies. Yes, space drugs for a pharmacy that's out of this world. It's the best in the universe. Experiments are a world of wonders and supplies. You won't, limited supplies will not hurry, but they only last limited time. You won't, you won't try. Promise you'll have a safe trip. Back to you. If you visit us just once, we guarantee you'll be coming back for more and later in the future. Um, cephalolic aliens and wise gnomes from the fourth dimension of contaminant space and cloud gnomes who have been watching all along. 
We are the wise cloud gnomes from the fourth dimension. Invisible radio waves emanate from a cephalopodic alien in another dimension of an alien subatomic particle airwaves. Meanwhile, the battle ensues over the right to see on Kami. The parallel scene shows the battle between named King and transport aliens, the lizard guats. The telepathic scene shows the battle between named King and transport aliens, the lizard guats. The telepathic cephalopodic alien medium shot space from planet Q by the gnome, and we shall conquer this space system with gnomes. Explosion. Yeah, the gnome kingdom needs a queen to rule the intergalactic console on subspace station 7. Well, planet Q, what planet are you from? An alien from planet Jigabizzle. And the devil tape one. Ah, uh, the... We used to explore the universe from a space station until the Star Cops forced us out of their sector because there weren't enough fuel resources in Xeon's mining colony to support us. The war raged on between thousands of alien lizard guat species and quams as they were carved by themselves for centuries. The alien guats continued to trash the place with their race as the cephalopodic aliens left all of space stations behind except the one. Planet Xeon headed the Intergalactic Star Cop Confederation. This base in Seventh Supernova protects order with its prison colony, but now prisoners may escape and cre threaten to create anarchy on the on again. All right. All right, Sarge. <coughs> okay. Thus, starting the whole violence cycle all over again in the Zeon colony. All right. Hello. Oh, Mongrel, one of the monthly supplies getting here. Don't worry, as soon as Mike deems created a diversion, we will then seize control. By using this <laughs> to short circuit the guards' computer animated guidance and surveillance systems. Just long enough for alien Kadim comrades to get their weapons. Simultaneously in Sector 7, past the Rikathar asteroids, Lieutenant Max Caswell prepares. To deliver the Zeon, monthly Xeon prison colony supplies. Rations. On board the cockpit, it's Cosmic Cruiser 57. I can understand why the aliens want to track the shipment, but why or the why they're jamming his communications. Suddenly, an alien aircraft targets Max Schiff from behind, and fires high beams on his supply ship. This is Lieutenant Max Caswell requesting permission to. Ah, oh, it's a trick! They were following me all along, those alien lizards will pay. I should have known. I think I see a ship coming in. Oh no, it's not just one ship. Meanwhile, aboard the hyperspace superfreighter, the alien lizard watch ships are tracking Max's ship and the alien lead alien pawns. Look at that puny human trying to survive in our sector of space. Yeah, keep those high beams on him, twirling, shining until it makes him lose our course and we'll show him who really rules the Zeon sector. Nugatron tells his, his nav co navigator friend pawns. My day, my day. This is Lieutenant Max Caswell of the perennial supply ship and for the Zeon delivery colony. It was a setup. I'm coming down hard. Repeat, crash landing. Oh, oh, Those aliens may think they can sabotage me this time, but I will be ready before they steal my goods. The Galactic Trinity Council will hear about this when's their next meeting. Right. Meanwhile, above. Victor Sile gets the Gadzeeks well with a new, great new potion. This is the works. The pounds of Victor Sile, could you lay off that dispenser for once in a while until we get back to our home planet? The young colony, Christian God. Sir, I'm receiving the trust signal from supply ship at number 57. Back on Zion's colony, maximum security outpost city of Zox. 
Track ship is... Sir, quick, Captain Mike says. Track the ship's signal on this radar and plot this course. Control guard. Yes, yeah, sir, it's confirmed. That's a, a delivery ship heading... Sir, it's heading straight towards us. Transmit on all frequencies, abort course, repeat, believing that landing path is on the other side of the complex, abort course, or we will, we will be forced to destroy you. It's too late, the signal is jammed from transmission. Jammed from transmission? What? Where is the signal being jammed from? Omain is finally defeated. <laughs> It must be the alien cruiser in Nugatron Gunner targets the ship's engine in case he tries to warn his human friends down on the planet below them about us. Pons, you're gluttonous, but sir, avoid the alien cruiser's ship. Why, Pons says, this is going too far. You already have their transmissions jammed, Nugatron? Just let me fire one shot and we'll get out of here. No one will know. Just do it. Quit being so paranoid. Yeah, uh, what about the Galactic Trinity? Get up, Pons. My friend Dakota is stuck down there. One of our race in a human cage. I knew uh, what I'm just doing. This is Gecko's lucky millennium. Fire. Engine targeted. When ready. Attack! Mayday! Mayday! Repeat! Mayday! I'm hit! Damn! Those aliens shot out engines of three and four! I'm coming down! <laughs> Aboard the alien Luther Guad hyperspace super freighter, Gunner says, Drag hit! Good! Nugatron says, Now get us out of this sector before an earthling ship notices us, Pons! You have sworn to secrecy! Hyperspace super freighter alien ship. Tries to shoot down the Glenn Max Casbah's shipment of plants. As he ejects from his cockpit. Repairs. Hey, computers. Send a distress lay code and prepare the escape pod. I'm going to need some rations and lots of laser blasters. Uh, those aliens will get out of control once I crash this party. The, uh, <laughs> prepare for the distress signal. Evacuate launch code. Entering the launch code. Program propulsion. Distance to surface. Oh, I hate computers. I guess 50 feet. I don't know. Just eject. Twitch. That blast came from an alien craft. Yeah, oh, man. He's under attack up there. So are we. Get yourself together, Glitch. Just they could. Confirmed. Perhaps we should have hold, hold off from firing upon that it, ship. <laughs> Pull up, pull up, you're too low. Uh, I'm picking up a distress signal from the cosmic cruiser. Prepare to fire at that ship. Yes, sir. Control the guard. The ship is releasing its gate rod. Prepare to shoot the main reactor. I'm targeting the main ship, but sir, it's heading. It's heading. It's heading towards this prison complex, straight to our direction. If I shoot it down now, the shrapnel will still kill prisoners. Fire now, that's an order. No more damn reports. <laughs> Transport ships for the loops. I just hope the escape pod gets away. Remind me to promote you, control guard. But remember, I'm the one who takes responsibility for firing them on one of our own ships. How's the escape pod? Track its course. Excuse me, I look at that Max Caspar reporting. It crashed. Sure, it sure is a shame they had to blow up my ship. Well, I guess it was going to crash anyway, but still, damn the man and the aliens. Oh, I'm hit by my ship's shrapnel. I have a feeling like it's wearing out for me on this planet. Well said. I was right. I should have uh, shouldn't have abandoned this mission.
This is Lieutenant Max Kassbaum, spinning out of control, heading down towards the roof, crashing out hard. Preparing to abandon ship. Damn escape item, right and radio jacked. I think I'm going to have to bail out. Where's my jet pack and helmet? Tonight, the job. Got a yellow alert. Yellow alert. Yes, sir, gentlemen. From that first rock, the ship might have hit us. Where's the escape card? Looks like it's gone down over the second prison complex. Red alert. Look out for that explosion. Hit the deck. Brace yourselves. Prepare auxiliary sliding glass doors. The shockwave is heading straight towards us. Prepare the emergency force field doors. <laughs> Control tower. This is explosion. Captain Mike commands, get those force fields up. Go to auxiliary power and see if you can't get those force fields up. There's too much radiation. Quickly now. I'm trying, sir. Meanwhile, the escape pod looks like it's going to come crashing down on the prison complex rooftop itself. Mayday. Control tower. You copy. It's over. Max Kasvah sends his last distress signals before he ejects from his escape pod. Looking for his jetpack and getting ready to bed. Protect him from radiation. Max jumps out and has a jetpack. Hope this jetpack works and we're all hit the concrete rooftop pretty damn hard. Max flies away as his escape cod plows straight towards the checkered rooftop of the prison complex. It crashes down and escape right behind it. Behind it is a jetpack with a jet. <coughs> the shockwave from the explosion sends Max swirling into a chaotic turbulence. And he flips over as he... Max's jetpack sends him back to the end of the roof, also due to the shockwave from the explosion of the escape pod.